Let's speak now with uh, the spokesperson of the EFCC, Mr. Wilson Wajaren, who joins us uh, on the telephone from Abuja. Many thanks, uh, Wilson, for joining us on the program. If we look at uh, the, uh, some of the press releases we've gotten from the EFCC, stating that about uh, four or five judges now in the last days or so have appeared before uh, the EFCC. What can you tell us about these uh, incidents? It seems so much that there is a huge searchlight on the, the judiciary, especially the judges. Thank, thank you, Shane, for the, the opportunity. As you rightly observe, um, a couple of uh, judges have appeared before the, the commission in the last uh, few days. And that is a follow-up from the investigation that the commission has been quietly undertaking over the past uh, couple of months. Uh, if you recall, uh, not too long ago, a number of uh, lawyers, uh, a few of them senior advocates of Nigeria, were actually arraigned before court and uh, they were charged uh, for bribery and uh, corruption. And if you look at the proof of evidence that the commission tendered in court, you will see that some of those transactions actually had to do with uh, some, some judges, which was an indication that we were quietly investigating a couple of judges. And uh, a, a couple of days back, we also came up with a, a press statement that we, we had we had about eight judges under the radar of, of the commission. So the invitation and questioning of these judges is a follow-up from, from uh, existing investigation that the commission has been con conducting. Oh, so you've, you've had uh, these cases on your hands for a while now? Uh, you, you're telling us that you've had some of these cases for some time now. How long have you been trailing some of these, uh, tracking some of these uh, cases? Absolutely. Like, like I said, it's, it's a flaw from the investigation that we have run. The Commission has always been expressing this concern about corruption within the judiciary. And uh, when the current uh, uh, chairman of the Commission came on board, he expressed a clear desire to do something about it. And the first step he took was to take on, on, on some of the senior lawyers. And the next phase of that investigation is actually uh, talking to the judges that we have identified to have issues in this investigation. So we've been quietly doing the investigation on the sideline, and the stage we are now is to confront them with the evidence that we have gathered, and we'll proceed from there. All right. Uh, Wilson, if you will tell us uh, this evening, uh, a lot of people have asked questions about what the EFCC has done in the last one or two years, how far, how many cases they've been able to bring home and prosecute successfully. A lot of people also will want to know uh, some of the um, high-profile cases that you are handling. Uh, for example, Mr. Uh, Banikoro, who came into the country. Just give us an update of what is happening generally. A, a, a lot, a lot is happening. So anybody that has followed the uh, media reports will know that uh, there's quite a lot going on as far as the commission is concerned. Um, I don't always like making a clear distinction between high profile and low profile because all crime has implication for the country. What some people consider as uh, low profile crime are actually the ones that bring uh, tremendous uh, effect on, on our national economy. But that said, I, I think Nigerians to appreciate the fact that in the last uh, uh, 10 months, the Commission has made giant strides in terms of recovery of stolen assets. Several billions of naira. I can't give you a clear picture of that, but we have recorded huge sums of money from persons that are under investigation for corruption cases. And that, that, that is the record for us that uh, other law enforcement agencies will not be able to be. And a number of those cases have also been charged to court. We are, we are talking of... Um, very, very senior military officers, some serving, some retired, who actually diverted proceeds, uh, money that were actually meant for the uh, war against insurgency into their private pockets. Most of them are being tried now. And also, I think we all recall that we have also done tremendous work in trying to look at what happened in the last general election when the, the national treasury was literally thrown open for party officials, especially those who belong to the People's Democratic Party, and they empty the Treasury into their own pockets. And we have required, recovered quite a substantial amount of, of uh, the money, and also personalities involved in them are currently either being tried or are still under investigation. Okay. So the clear message has been sent that no one is uh, above the law in this country, right. and that the impunity that we witnessed in the last few the, the uh, especially towards the end of the, the, administration, the, the last administration, we will not wish to have that impunity anymore in this country. Thank you so much, uh, Wilson Uwajan, spokesperson 
of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC. Many thanks for coming on the program.